After such a bad road trip, the Blue Jays are going to hope that there really is no place like home. They have played well at home, going 10-6 and so far this year. Despite a nice weekend, Seattle has struggled of late on the road, going just 3-9 and in their last 12 road games. I'm going to look for Toronto's struggling bats to awaken against an embattled Flexen with big performances from Springer, Guerrero Jr., Seattle pitching has conceded more than 5.3 runs per contest over their last nine games. I think Toronto will jump out early and hang on in a game that looks poised to be a slugfest. Bit of juice, but going to lay it anyways. We're going to go for the side, Jays at minus 160. Neither Flexen nor Kikuchi has inspired much confidence out of the gate in 2022. Flexen is just 1-5 and and was rocked his last time out against the Phillies. While Kikuchi has seemingly been working out of jams all season with command issues and a dangerous 1.41 whip, both offenses are loaded with talent and more than capable of exploiting mistakes from these potentially vulnerable starters. The Mariners have yielded over 5.3 runs on average over the last nine, while the over is 6-0-1 in Toronto's last seven games against right-handed starters. How could you not like the over here? Two plays we're going to go with. We're going Toronto Blue Jays, minus 160, and we're going Seattle Toronto, over 8.5. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Whatever it is you do, get that cash. Good luck, gang. We'll see you on the flip side. This is Trending Rabbit.